Hi, welcome back to our watch review channel. In this video, we will modify the Casio W218H digital watch. So the screens will become a negative display. This video was my first experience, never done wristwatch screen modification before. So if some steps are ineffective and so on, please let me know in the comments. For this modification, we need a polarizer filter. It's usually available in the online market, sometimes to modify digital speedometer display. And this is how it will affect the screen. If we rotate it, the screen color will change. And the goal is to make the background dark and the letters bright. Okay, now let's start by disassembling the watch. Unscrew. Then remove the back plate. Here we find the seal still attached, that's okay. And judging by how it looks, it needs to be cleaned later. Now to unmount the module, we will press this 1, 2, 3 button pushers. I used a smaller screwdriver. It's a bit hard at first. Then place the case securely to avoid dust and various things. Now to remove the display, here I pry it from the front. But actually, a better way is to open the battery bracket first. Next, I remove the battery bracket. Here we see that the connector spring is falling off, place it safely, we will put it back later. Next, detach the circuit from the black plastic frame. And here we can see the placement for the display. Ok, now to remove the original polarizer filter from the screen. It's a bit difficult, peel it slowly. From experience, it takes about 2 minutes. Next, I cut the new polarizer. Adjust the angle to get the darkest background, then cut according to the screen size. And after that, clean up the remaining glue. Usually, people use glue gun, but it's hard to find here, so I tried using whatever is available. First, I tried lemon oil. It helps, but still has a lot of glue left. I tried WD-40, it's better, but still not the best result. And last, I used this essential oil and it seems to work well for dissolving the remaining glue. Next, we install a new polarizer. Okay, there's a problem here. Turns out the polarizer has two faces of plastic cover. One side for the adhesive and the other is not. Apparently, I cut with the wrong face orientation. So let's make another cut. But before that, I double check which side has the adhesive on. Then install the polarizer. And cut the rest. Next, install this new modified display to the frame.
clean it up I need a slightly soft piece so I will put it right and carefully Be careful with all the contacts and also the connector strips that looks like foam. Don't get the orientation wrong. Install the battery bracket. Then lock the clips. In this video, I did not do AC reset, but I will recommend you to do it, especially if the LCD screen is not working properly. Continue to assemble this module into the watch case. For the spring connector, to connect from the module to this little buzzer, put it back where it belongs. Right here. Okay, now install the back plate. The buzzer must be connected to the spring. I didn't tighten all the screws yet. Better to check whether the buttons are working or not. And I found another problem. The light switch is not working properly. So it's time to recheck the module assembly, fasten clips and so on. Test again before closing it. Looks okay now. All buttons are active. Works fine. And now, close the back plate, then tighten the screws. Yes. Done! It's an W218H with a negative display. Maybe not the best. Looks like a speck of dust inside, needs more cleaning before assembly. But anyway, not bad. And frankly, I was nervous thinking if it doesn't work. Okay, that's all for this video. If you wish to try, please do so at your own risk. I can say this is a tutorial because this video was my first try, hopefully useful for your reference. Thank you for watching, if you like this video please click like, subscribe or leave a comment. Stay safe, have fun, see you in the next video, bye!